Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Monday, April 8, 2024. I pray that the Lord will continue to be with you this morning and may you and your family keep in good spirit. May you continue to look to him who is able to keep you and may he show you favor. Our reading today comes to us from Colossians chapter 2, reading verse 6 to 8. And it says, As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not of the Christ. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for His Word once more, which is always dear to give us guidance and to help us to grow in His favor. Now here Paul is encouraging the believers in Colossians that they should remain firm in their faith and continue growing in their relationship with Christ, right? He also emphasized the importance of being rooted in Christ, which means that they should have a strong foundation in him and being firmly established in his teaching and in his principles. And that is something that we also need to practice. We need to be firm in what we believe in the principles of God and in his guidance and his word. Paul urges the, the, the believers that they should continue to build themselves up in Christ. Now, this would imply that an ongoing growth and development in their spiritual life must exist. And this involves deepening their understanding of Christ and his character and his purpose as well as allowing them to transform their lives more and more in his likeness. So a daily commitment to building their relationship with him, daily studying of the word, daily spending time with him and diligently doing so, be intentional because that is the way how the transformation process is going to begin and will take place, right? And so, furthermore, he warns the believers that they should be careful of those who will deceive them. So, they should not allow themselves to be, be deceived by false teaching and the philosophies that are contrary to the truth of God or the truth that is in the word of Christ. So these false teaching could come from human traditions or they could come from worldly ideologies that do not align with the gospel of Christ. And so Paul refers to them as hollow and deceptive. So Paul refers to them as hollow and deceptive philosophies because they offer empty promises and lead people away from true and the true source of wisdom and knowledge which is found only in Christ alone. Amen. So that is something that we also have to bear in mind. We must not allow ourselves to be deceived by these things. Remember tradition does not supersede the word of God. The word of God always comes first. And so the only way to prevent ourselves from being deceived is to know what the word of God says and also applying the word of God to our daily life. Amen. So overall, the message of this passage this morning, it underscored the importance of stay grounded in Christ. Amen? And growing in Him and what? Guarding against these deceptive influence that could undermine one's faith and also 
our spiritual growth. So, as we continue to, to draw closer to God and as we continue to seek to walk in His righteousness, may we do so. Also, be mindful that there uh, are evil powers around us, deceptive powers, people who the enemy can use to deceive us and to drive us in the wrong direction. So keep our minds focused on Christ because that's the only way we will be able to navigate these waters if we stay close to Jesus. Amen. So may God continue to bless and keep us as we seek to follow his principles and his guidance alone. Amen.